All right, just a quick, quick video. Um, I'll have to replay this before I send it up because um, I don't know if you built it here because of the rain. Uh, right, just stopped for the night pretty much. Um, had me dinner. Uh, got an email back through this afternoon uh, via whatdotheyknow.com, which is a freedom of information uh, request site. Uh, it all goes public on this site, guys, so anyone can see it. It's what do you know com. You just have to type it in. Um, you can set up a free account in minutes, maybe two minutes, um, and you too then can send freedom of information requests if you wish. But uh, you can also look at everyone else's um, requests as well, and they're all. You can basically email any public authority in the UK through this site, um, and it's just actually a really easy site to negotiate and everything. So. <coughs> You can go in there and look at mine if you want, as well. I've done about six or seven now. Uh, so I got one back this afternoon from Police Crime Commissioner. As some of you will recall, it is in one of my videos. Um, he threatened to enact his policy of arrest, and then there was something about taking other action or other measures or something, which, which sounded quite sort of threatening, really because other than the legal sort of policy of arrest, I couldn't imagine, you know, <laughs> speaks for itself really, doesn't it? Um, so obviously he was threatening me with, with violence there, I think, really. So that's, that's what I take out of it, anyway. Um, so, I did an FOI to the Police Ground Commissioner's office. Some of you will have seen it on Facebook and Twitter. Um, which was basically, I'd like to know the Police Crime Commissioner's powers of arrest then. Uh, you know, if he's going to enact his policy or whatever he said, something along those lines. Uh, came back from his, his loyal dog's body, I think his name's Jim Haylett. Oh no, no, this is vexatious, no, you can't ask this question, blah blah blah. So I put in what's called, you can do what's called an internal review. Um, and that came back, uh, we've looked at how your request was first handled and it is now being treated as a formal FOI. So that was good, and that was only a few days ago, really. That wasn't that long ago. Uh, so it's come back today that, uh, no. The Police Crime Commissioner has no more powers of arrest than me, you know, or you watching this, as long as you're not a copper, obviously. Uh, so really, he would have had to um, basically report me to the police and, uh, and and just wait and see if the police uh, would take any action. Um, so he's lied, and he's been caught out lying, and that this is the Police Crime Commissioner, uh, who, by the way, is a personal friend of John Major, which might interest you. Um, so there we go, quite disgusting, really. Uh, public servants using threatening language, uh, threatening violence, uh, which we saw a repeat of actually again with, with Ian Shaw the other day when he turned up at the mate's burger van. Um, so yeah, this this is the kind of, you know, these, these are the people trying to take me to court for allegedly threatening a council officer. Um, and yet they, they, they seem uh, plenty willing to dish out enough of their own threats which are completely unfounded. Uh, they can't back them up. Uh, as usual, they, they can back nothing up with their argument about the whole council case because they know they all know the council's stealing money. Um, the council's failed to answer the FOI, obviously, which which pretty much m makes them guilty. Uh, and of course, we had the, the professional standards as well, who um, failed to take action uh, when I pointed out, obviously, the police had failed to question Ian Shaw. So it's all, it's all coming down on top of them now, guys, really. It's the, the edges are starting to fray, the whole thing's starting to unravel. And uh, really, you can just hope, you know, something like this this story about the PCC gets in the press. Because that's that's the end of days for them, because as soon as one part of it gets in the press, of course David Cameron's put a media blackout on this, but as soon as something just to the side gets in the press, then that's just one way, one thing that's going to finish them. And I'm sure they know that already. And I'm sure they also know that they're already finished, but they're, they're just, they're just um, holding on with their fingernails, basically. Anyway, so there you go. Check out your police crime commissioner. He's probably a liar too.